Hi, I'm Mike of Enough Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we are currently about to do a maneuver. We have gone around the moon and gathered some science. Not as much science as I wanted, because I had originally planned to do. Well, I'm in a polar orbit, and I was going to get lots of polar. You know, you get get different um, sciences depending on which biome we're in. But it actually turns out that you don't get that high above. At least for uh, the stuff I was doing, which is um, crew reports and um, stuff like that. So if you if I, if I check my uh, science thing, I've got everything I can from here. Uh, three, two, one. Well, I just need to quickly go here. And ease my way in because I want to get to let's go with there. Forty five hundred. It's not quite my original plan. Um, but 4,500, 45,000, 45,000 meters, 45 kilometers up, uh, which should be a reasonable translunar, transmunar, I guess, uh, thing. Uh, before I start warping, what I am going to do is I'm just going to quickly check that I don't have any science left here. I don't think I do. So I don't think I've got... And none of these science experiments have things like review data. So that I haven't... That means I, I haven't got anything that, uh, that I'm, I'm worried about. Because um, I am going to drop all of this at some point. So I don't want any science on there that I'm going to be annoyed at missing. So that's fine. So we've got that. So we'll set SAS to point retrograde, and let that settle down, and then we are going to warp, I think, to here. There we go. One thing I, I'm, I'm not very good at, because as you can see, uh, Oh, that's not too bad. Um, ooh, let, right, we're gonna we're gonna dump. I'm just now dumping all the bits that are not related to my spacecraft, basically. And I'm gonna point. Make sure that one of my solar panels is pointing as directly towards the sun as I can. Uh, so I can turn SAS off and not lose any electricity. But I'm about to hit the atmosphere now. And I have to be very cautious. I have to, there are certain things I need to not do. I need to make sure that I note at any point accidentally press the uh, point towards uh, prograde. I've got to always be pointing retrograde. Although interesting, it doesn't seem to want to point exactly retrograde. I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, So, uh, perhaps is a 45k, which should be not too vicious. Um, those explosions are coming from the back end, which is fine. And the main thing I need to do is not touch this accidentally. Uh, because if I do that, because I've got my, my heat shield, I, I should have actually taken off a lot of the ablate, the ablate, the ablator, 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 uh, because I probably don't need quite as much as I have, uh, to actually just get down, even from the mun, but, you know, better safe than sorry kind of thing. It also would have saved me a bit of Delta V. 
uh, a long load, possibly quite a lot of delta V, because every kilogram you don't have to take up into space. Uh, there's a whole bunch more fuel you don't have to take up. It's, it's the, the amount of difference can be extraordinary. Uh, right, so I've passed periapsis. My apoapsis height is now very small, so there you go. Oh, it's coming down anyway. Oh no, I, I mean, yeah. Am I currently going up? I'm currently going up. I'm bouncing off the atmosphere. That is not what I want. Oh lord. Wow. Color me astonished. Right, do I have a... Um, Okay. No, oh, no. Wow. Well, I'm going to have to turn off SAS. And hope that my, um, solar panels uh, recharge me I am apparently going to have to do this again wow I would have thought I'm back out of the atmosphere how ridiculous I would have thought that um, 45,000 kilometers 45,000 meters would have been more than enough. But apparently not. Well, I guess we're going round again then. No, that's not what I want. Come do a maneuver anyway. Wow. Well, I didn't blow up, which is the main thing. So another, you know, extra bit of time, bit annoying, but mm. so I'll turn on SES and go retrograde again. And we're about to hit him. So I don't know why I've got the Uh, a maneuver node symbol right in the middle of my screen. Right, I've got one of my one of my solar panels is pointing towards the sun. Next time I make one of these, I'm going to put more than one solar panel on a side, maybe quite a lot. Uh, I didn't want you know the thing is you can't you don't want to cover the actual crew hatch, but just maybe two, one above the other. camera's a bit wonky as well. Okay, so let's hope this one brings me um, in close enough. Got plenty of ablator or ablator or however, you meant, however you're supposed to pronounce that. Okay, 45 seconds to periapsis. Bob is surprisingly happy. Maybe because he's already done this once. My apoapsis height is not coming down as quickly as I would have thought. I might have to go. Am I going to have to go around again? Goodness me. I'm extremely happy I've discovered the joys of um, solar panels because uh, I'd have just run out of electricity by now and wouldn't be able to do anything. So my, I'm just hitting periapsis now and I'm still, my apoapsis is still 2,000 kilometers out. As opposed to the seventy odd I would like, which would, would which would mean I would be uh, 
recover. So I'm currently going back up again. I'm about to run out of electricity, which is not my favorite idea. Because the aerodynamics are not working in my favor. It's possible that this, maybe that, that this, uh, there we go, we've lost it. The uh, pod controller there. Wow, we're going around again. It's possible that this uh, probe core here is mucking up the aerodynamics in some way. Seems to be just enough uh, electricity coming in to keep the SAS just operational. Wow. Yeah, because the probe core itself is going to be running a bunch of. Um, costing a bunch of electric charge. Well, we're going to have to go around again, aren't we? Goodness me. Well, we're not going to do that until we come out of the atmosphere, so... Goodness me. I'm very sorry about this, Bob. I'm sure you want to get home a bit more, you know, timely, but... I think part of the problem is I, it's possible my craft is a little unbalanced somewhere. Uh, maybe the antenna? It might be the one of these things that I think doesn't change your um, mass, as in, and thus does not change your um, center of mass. It does in fact change my center of mass. So, or the aerodynamics are wrong, or any number of things. Um, and apart from anything else, I kind of wish I hadn't put that antenna on because that antenna never actually was going to do anything. I was never going to use it for anything. But I don't think antennas, I don't think that type of antenna adds mass. I don't think that adds mass either. So I'm a bit confused as to what's going on here. Is this finally going to do it? Is this going to be enough? We're running out of electric charge really quickly. Can I turn this off? Seems to make things a bit more stable, actually. All right, that's coming down, so that might come under a thousand meters. So I rather suspect we're going to be going round again. Uh, time to periapsis. So see what speed we're going at periapsis. So I may have to start counting it and just working out what the difference is each time. Seems to be okay for electric charge this once, but it looks like we're going to get through it. 2,900 and... Hit 5, 3, 2, 1. So 2,903 meters per second. We're just about to run out of electric charge. We are going round again for definite. Goodness me. This is not going the way I expected it to at all.
So we're still slowing down. Uh, so I guess the other speed I want to know is how fast am I going to be going when I leave the atmosphere again? Uh, things seem to run smoother when I move all the flamey effects into the distance and thus they're taking up less of the screen. I don't know whether that's ac what's actually happening, but it seems to work that way. This is where I wish I'd installed the trajectories mod and I could see what's actually going to happen. Alright, we're all going up. We haven't made less under a thousand kilometers from my, my app lapses, so you can see how that's still quite eccentric. I haven't quite run out of electricity. We're about halfway through an abl abl ablator though, which is uh, rather more than I thought we would end up doing. Right, let's undo that. Uh, we can turn off SAS now, I think. Yep. I'm not going to warp until we get out of the atmosphere. Because I'm worried about that. I don't, I don't know whether I should be worried about that. But oh, This is not going as I expected at all. There you go. We're outside the atmosphere again. We will walk to there. I should have made a note of my speed, actually. Right, so my stuff. Oh, uh, turn on SES. Uh, retrograde. See, I thought that the, ablate, the, the the heat shield would be nice and heavy and thus would help pull everything forwards. But that doesn't seem to have happened. Huh, so we're starting off going at 2,700. Are we just going to go smaller? We, I mean, because we you actually, you, there, there, there are two things. You speed up as you go to your periapsis, but of course I'm being slowed down by the atmosphere as well, which is of course what is causing all the, fla causing all the flamey flamey stuff to happen. So I was uh, just a shade under 3,000, so 2,900 and, and a bit uh, at my periapsis, which is in a minute. Well, one thing I should be checking is how long, how long is it now? When I hit the atmosphere, how long is it now to my periapsis? Uh, unfortunately, every time I do that, that's a, it's a longer um, period of being on fire, basically. This is probably going to do bad things to my ab ablator. So I seem to be more or less steady at 2,794. I'm actually losing speed now. Which is what I wanted. Uh, no, it's going up. Thirty seconds to apoapsis. I'm finally under a thousand meters apoapsis. Uh, yeah, a, thou a thousand kilometers apoapsis. Twenty seconds to periapsis. Oh my goodness! I'm not going to be able to land. In I thought I was worried about having a short episode because it's going to land too soon. But it has turned out that I've just been going round and round and round and round, and that's all I can do. I've only knocked about 150 meters per second, it seems, ish. Maybe, two, no, yeah, well, maybe 250. And I'm still got a really large eccentricity. Although it is coming down as we speak. But I have passed. Uh, perhaps this again.
and my apoapsis height is still 10 times what it needs to be. And I do not know if I'm going to... Um, it looks like it's going to take me another orbit at least to get that fixed. So, how exciting. Uh, I'm Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, do hit like and subscribe if you enjoying these videos. Enjoying watching? Please hit like and subscribe if you have been enjoying these videos. Uh, come visit NeilFDice at NeilFDice.com. We're also on Facebook and upon Twitter. You can find links to that in the video description. And until next time, reach for the stars and um, try not to get stuck in having to do multiple orbits to get back home.